Greetings, Mason Storm here. Today we are going to be making ourselves some roast beef, but we're not going to be making it in the normal roast beef fashion. So you probably can't call it roast beef, but we're going to call it that anyway because that's essentially what it's going to end up being. We're going to be using the pressure cooker. I have a couple cloves of crushed garlic, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, some onion that I chunked, as well as some carrots and celery, a slab of beef, and of course we're going to be using some beef broth. I have a box, so about a liter. And then we're going to throw down the cast iron skillet and crank up our temperature, add a little bit of oil, and wait for a good uh, preheating session. Although you don't want to go too long, I think I went too long on this because when I put the meat in, we kind of had a little bit of an explosion. So not that much heat, just enough to kind of sear it. And once we get all the sides all seared, then we're good to go on to the next phase. Of course, I should emphasize again that I had my pan all way too hot for this. I made a little bit of a mess and... Anyway, moving forward, got the old pressure cooker out, add in our meat, and I'm gonna to proceed to add in my onions, as well as my garlic. And then to top it off, going to fill it with our broth. The meat isn't completely covered. It's still got some above the surface. That's what we want. We're not boiling it. The lid can be very tricky to get on on this uh, Fagor pressure cooker. It's also important to have the seal on right or it doesn't really work. Ask me how I know that. And once we have the lid on, we're going to set our uh, pressure gauge so that it actually uh, pressurizes. And that's also the release valve for uh, relieving the pressure once you're done so you can get the lid off because if you take off a lid of a pressure cooker while it's still pressure dries it's kind of like a bomb so it's got a safety on there so it won't come off on its own so you gotta take the pressure off and then it will open up half an hour it's a good starting point uh, the, it's usually 20 mi minutes per pound of meat I think that's the general rule but I figure half an hour is a good place to start and once we get up the pressure you're gonna notice the water's gonna stop boiling away and go completely silent. That's good. And after our first half hour of cooking, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna add our celery and our carrots. And then we're gonna cook it for another 10 minutes. And that's gonna be enough time to soften up the vegetables as well as finishing off our meat so it's all nice and tender at the same time. Now once we're done, there's a couple different ways of doing this. One is to release the pressure and get the meat out and cover it with foil and let it rest for probably like 10 or 15 minutes. The other method is to simply unplug the unit and then let it the pressure come down on its own. Let it kind of rest inside the machine so then you can just pull the lid off once the pressure has come down. And Both ways do work and I think it's easier just to unplug it and then do something else and come back and take your meat out and slice it up. and. It's fabulous and then you have all these vegetables that were cooked in the broth and they taste amazing the onions are almost like candy it's kind of unreal it's just fabulous either way that's uh, that's how I like to do my pressure cooked roast beef and it works great especially on cheap cuts of meat that are tough as leather because this makes them nice and tender let me know in the comments below how you like to make your pressure cooked beef if you like my content, please like and subscribe, and until next time, stay awesome.